17th of January um, 2019. And we are halfway through, a quarter of the way through, the drawings, the paintings, and this is the first one of the second batch, which begins on the 17th of January, which is in a few days' time. This is a... a a, it's a gesture drawing um, and it is of a quick three minutes and in three minutes you have no time for detail you get the essence and the spirit of what you see and that's what you draw you keep your eyes on the model and your hand whizzes silently lightly across the page with a light bit of charcoal, which this is a light bit of charcoal, or it might be a paintbrush loaded with paint, and you just paint the gesture of what you see and the spirit, and and you don't do any details. You get the sweep of the. Uh, this is more of an upright, like a triangle, but sometimes there's a sweep. We are like halfway a through. A quarter of the way through the way the spine goes, these drawings. and you just put that put the spine in before and you do anything. This is the first and one leave. of the gestures of the main lines. I put the main line in, which was really like a straight line, slightly sloping. And the bottom, I've got, um, I think there's three bum cheeks there, but it's just what happens. And you don't care about any detail, you just get on with it and do it. Now, um, later on I took that extra bum cheek out because I've, uh, of, um, in, in, the, in the scan. But this was the original. Um, <coughs> you, don't, you don't do the details, you look for the main thing and you paint very quickly with no detail at all, just the shoulders where the head comes, the foot there, the knee there, the leg down there, one arm down there, bit of hand, and that's it. And so um, it's very exciting to do a gestural drawing. Most of my drawings are gestural drawings. Um, some of them are three minutes, some of them ten minutes. All these, all this batch are very quick drawings and mainly they are the gesture of what I see but not always sometimes I put detail in or maybe later I mean it's my it's my work of art I can paint more into it later it there's no rules about this but the model posed for three minutes thank you and you gave three you gave those to your grandchildren you gave yes, I, and I gave these uh, one picture each to Aline Jasmine and Natasha. and Natasha, the three biggest grandchildren. There's <coughs> brown pastel, a red brown pastel on rough watercolour paper. Um, sometimes I buy pastel paper, but this watercolour paper has a nice texture and I really love the way the texture is in this picture. And I like that drawing because it's complete in itself. It worked is in this As a picture. Drawing. And I really like it. I'm allowed to say that, aren't I? Here's a colour one. This is a model with sunglasses on, which I removed later. Um, so, um, as an, uh, the, the picture you will see has no sunglasses. Um, the model is it painted in pink pastel. It's a pastel painting on dark green paper, dark green pastel card. Uh, some of these paintings are painted on pastel card and they are quite useful for me to draw on because they're they're, they're firm and they take the pastel but they're they're not as um i prefer paper 
Why so, do you, usually. Why do you like paper better? I like paper because if somebody looks at that and slightly spits as they're talking, a blot goes on the paper on this and the whole surface will fall off. And that's why I don't like it. But with paper, it won't do, well, nothing will happen, it'll just dry out. But if, if somebody, a lot of people spit as they talk. If somebody was spat on as they talked and it dropped on that, that would make a hole. And so I, I want my pa paintings to last. I wonder why. So what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the confident way she's sitting. Um, I like the way she stands out from the background with, um, with brown behind and black there. And, um, there's a blue clover there. Um, she's, she's drawn in pink, which makes her very um, strange skin colour because it's pink mixed with this dark green, which I've left for shadow. Um, I let the, the background colour add to the added colours and that's how I paint mostly. I, the background of the, 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 the ground, I call this the ground, the ground that I am painting on is here, it's green and where it's not, nothing on it, it makes a green line which works for me as a shadow. There's green lines there, green line there, green line there, and there's green foot, and green there, and green there, because the, the background, the ground, comes through. It's not touched. And so I used the ground for a colour. This is the same model with her hair tied into a knot at the back. It's done with brown pastel on white, white cartridge paper. And it's three minute pose. She's resting her hand, her head on her hand, her hand on her knee, and her knee on the foot, on the ground. And um, I think, I think it, um, it works um, anatomically, not all of them do, and it's just the way life goes. Um, she's sitting on a, a, the, the edge of a, a bed. This is very much a gesture drawing. Um, I didn't get the top of her head. <coughs> I don't... Um, I don't emphasize the features. I I think of the the whole body all in one because I have a few minutes and with this it's a sort of light brown ground it's it's pastel card and you can see the light brown the, the same color background comes through where I'm touching all these places are just untouched so her body is untouched light brown and warm brown that's a darker brown for a shadow and the highlights are a bit of pinky color there and there and there and there on her shoulder on her cheek on her nose on her forehead on her ear and um so what i did is i did roughly the I think I drew with charcoal first of all, and then I used pastel to make the shadowy areas and the hair with with a darker, a warm dark brown, <clears throat> and then the highlights just touches here and there with pinky colour on to make, to give it the three dimensional quality, and and the back the cloth she's sitting on is a sort of yellowy colour, light yellowy white. This is a series I did um, 
of this model and I elongated her body and her neck and her head just because I did. It's just how I was feeling at the time and it's quite interesting to me to see these series several drawings at that time which was um, I was e elongating the model. I'd done in charcoal it's five minute pose. Um, it, it's not really relevant how many minutes I took to do these but it might be interesting to you to show that I haven't spent all afternoon working it all out because I wasn't interested in working it all out. I was trying to get the gesture of what I saw. And here again, on, on a blue-grey pastel paper, a 20-minute pose. And what I did is I saw the shape. Maybe I put the blue in before I even started to draw the body just to show that it was a triangular shape. And then for her light, for her shadow, I got a sort of like um, a muddy brown, soft muddy brown for the shadow here and there, just a touch there. And then for the medium, there was a, 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 a flesh colour down there and then highlight of more of a gold colour here, there, there, there and there. Um, and the spine was catching up with, with the gold colour, just where the highlight came. And she's sitting on a lighter blue cloth, which is pads and it's, it's, it's under her body, but not quite her legs. And there's some, some of this pinky colour, which from the, is in the shadow, in the background behind her head. This was a 10 minute pose. It's, it's of, of uh, um, the, the model is, has her head down and she's lying across her knees bent double and her feet coming just past her bottom. And here I, I saw this, uh, just a sweep and I would just think sweep and I'd get the main sweep there for first minute, first 10 seconds, I would just get the area of what it was and then I would put the darker shadowy bits there. There was drawing this in a, in a brown pastel, more like this is maybe the brown pastel that I used and and it, it's where the, where the body was not, like in there and around there. It's the negative areas where the body was not and where the body was, I put in some fleshy colours to smudge in and then some yellowy colours for the for the highlights and the feet were untouched, they were just drawn. Sometimes you can use the pastel colour with the sharp edge as, as a drawing instrument. I always thought it was just a bit that you were forced around the back because everyone else was around the front. Okay. When I see the model posing, I don't tell her how to pose. I I I find I find it inspiring, whatever. And what I do is <clears throat> I walk around all the way around her body, walk, walk all the way around the room, and see what what aspects I like about what I see. And when I stop, when I find the place which I find most inspiring, I will go back and get my chair and my easel and I'll put all my stuff on my chair and I'll stand at the easel and sometimes I sit. With this I'm probably sitting because I'm, it's more of my eye height. And when I'm drawing, when, when I've got a, a low, a low, she's, she's about, no more than three foot high here and so I was probably sitting on a chair 
with my picture on my knee drawing and my 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 tools on the chair beside me or I might have had the easel I can't remember and it doesn't really matter but this is how I work and and the easel if I was sitting I would have the picture moved right down to be my eye height that's the height when I'm going to draw I don't just leave the picture up high and draw on it I put the picture if I'm standing up I put the picture up till it's at the height of my eye and then I draw and then I have my eye the picture and the model all in one eyesight it's 10 minute pose it's got rather messy but that's what happens with pastels sometimes I rub them out sometimes I leave them in now this is water soluble crayon which is very nice because you can draw with the crayon and splash it over with water and so it has a dual effect and then you can go over it sharply with corners of crayon doing more drawing you can see the drawn lines there and the water there and I used those sort of lines are going away from the line where away from the um, profile of the body um, each stroke going like that not not going along with it but counteracting it and she's sitting she's re reclining um, lying half on her hips on her left hip and there is another painting you will see which is rather similar rather similar pose but it is different it is not the same picture it might have been done at different days I can't remember um, that was a five minute pose usually most of it is finished in five minutes but sometimes I will take the painting and work on it later this is 10 minute pose. It's done on on a sort of ochre, a light ochre, goldy ochre colour of pastel board, which is enhanced by a bit more pastel of similar colour there and a brownier background colour there. Um, the, the body is already ochre colour. It's almost the same colour as her very similar to her skin colour which I've enhanced with pink she's got a rather pink look to her skin and or almost a sort of a red look to her skin in some some places and I put these these touches here and there um, and the cover was stripy which I've indicated but I didn't really want it as a feature. Um, I would like to take away the lump at the top of her neck and I mean I, I could work on this but these are gesture drawings and they're not meant to be anatomical measurement, accurate measurements. Now this drawing is on pastel paper a light grey and it's a very light pastel drawing um, first of all with charcoal and then with colour just touches just touches of highlights the shadows um, it's a five minute pose and it's very much a gesture drawing the sweep and the, the weight of the body there and and her face um, seems to go I think this the expression goes with the gesture of she's not going anywhere she's just just stretching 
Is it an elongated one? It is rather, but it's yes, it's an elong. It maybe as was on the same day. Um, I don't know why I sometimes elongate. This one is like a cocoa colour, warm brown, quite a strong brown pastel card. And there's very little pastel on it. There's there's a black, it might be charcoal. It's the same effect with charcoal, so it could be. And and there's a pink of flesh here and there. And a bit more just touches where where the the lights come. So it's it's using the pastel sideways for the for the tone a soft tone and with the sharp edge for highlight on a shoulder that sort of thing it might be a three minute pose something like that this is a cooler brown card not such a cocoa color um, more of a coffee color and um, Once again, I've used the, the colour of the ground to be the colour of her flesh. Of course it isn't. It's the effect I'm giving. I, it's um, a very quick, very just gestures, rather similar to the one on the 17th of January, where it was um, a triangle of the shape, but here... It's, she's much more of an elongated triangle. And um, I've not tried to paint the flesh. I've just tried to emphasize where the highlights came. So I've got this soft apricot pink, which I've drawn the feet in with and just emphasized where the highlights came. And a different color is highlighting the hair. The hair has a, a more of a, a carroty red for the hair and gold for the highlights, different set, and black for the shadows, charcoal for the shadows. Two different sets of colours. The colour of the ground is is a quite a, a strong egg yellow, egg yolk yellow. With with um, a brighter yellow cloth she's sitting on, and once again I've let the the yellow become part of her flesh colour. Like there, there. You can see where it's at places where there's no no colour at all. It'll be this colour, and and I I put the. Um, soft dull pink as uh, for bringing out the um, the shape of her torso and um, and this is a, a, a lavender lavender gray for the shadow I like to have a sort of color balance with my paintings and with this, there's too much of the yellow in it and I would like to have some contrasting. Maybe one day I'll do another, I'll, I'll add more to it and um, change the colour balance. But I'll leave it like this for now. This is different because it's pastel, um, because it's pencil. Not pastel, it's pencil. Um, when I draw with pencil, I sharpen it in a certain way, not with a sharpener, but with a knife. And I sharpen it at a sort of a low angle so that it gives a very long lead. And I can lie the pencil almost on its side and get shading I can use it as uh, for tone 
I can use it for these sort of things. For tone, tone means like shadow. I can use it as a sort of shadow colour rather than a sharp light, a sharp line. There's a sharp line around the knee, but there's tone around the leg. Can you see? There's tone around the leg. Um, I put a lot of background into it because I wanted to bring out the negative shapes uh, behind the, the behind, behind the models. That is a twenty-minute pose. I should think ten minutes for each each model. They're similar poses, but they're not the same. They're different poses. So is it two twenty-minute? No, it's two, one twenty-minute pose for that picture. I so see. it's ten. Uh, just what I said. Yeah. It's ten minutes for one person and ten minutes for the other person. I see. And so did you. Where, is it the same model as it, and you moved around or did the model move or what? It's the same model. She sat in one pose, then she changed her pose and sat in another way. And each time I walked around the room to see which way I found most interesting. And that's how I got. And anybody else in the room would have totally different views both of those because when you're drawing you're drawing from your vision and I choose my vision because I walk around until I find the, the vision that I like and most people don't do this they just take what comes but I think for me I can I sometimes think Oh, I wish I was on the other side of the room. So I go on the other side of the room. And I don't always want a front view. I just want the view that that calls to me. And in each in this in that way the back view called to me and in that way the front side view called to me. And there's no reason why one is better than the other. It's just what inspired me at that moment and maybe another day. I would have been totally different. There's no rule about it. And this is for me. I'm not asking anybody which is the best view or which they like. I'm saying what I was inspired to do at that moment. And each of these drawings are inspirations. First of all, I'm inspired by what I see. And then what I see, I put on paper. And then it, it's, its value changes because then it is an entity in itself. It's like got personality. And I look at the picture as, as something with personality. And sometimes it says to me, I need, I need more strength here uh, behind or or I, I need to have the, the, the top of the head picked up darker. Or, you know, it tells me what it needs. And it, is, it has its own needs and its own character. It's nothing to do with what was when I first saw it as a, as a nod, model posing for me. So it's, this is lately come to me that it is it has its own requirements and sometimes if you paint you will know that you're painting and sometimes your painting changes or you paint till three in the morning and you don't know why you just couldn't stop and it's as if the painting has needs and you just best way is to just go along with it because the painting seems to know what it wants. Um, I don't know. It may cause people to tell me how wrong I am, but it'd be interesting to know what you think.
So that's your second uh, 15 pictures or thereabouts. Yes, that's, I'm calling it batch two at the moment, or oh, edition two. The first edition was January the 1st to January the 16th. And this is January the 17th to January the 31st. And then there'll be the second, the third edition will be February the 1st to February the 14th. 14th. And the next February the 15th to February the 28th. And then we'll stop. Mysterious world, the wonderful, cold, 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 mysterious world, the won